Committed to cutting down its carbon emissions, China has created a revolutionary nuclear reactor that has been proven to burn five times hotter than the sun. The Chinese have reached several unprecedented milestones in their effort to harness unlimited energy in an eco-friendly way, while the rest of the international community continues to struggle with such technology. The so-called artificial sun has proven to be a turning point in the process of mastering nuclear fusion, and it is believed that it will become the basis for many other energy-related projects around the world in the decades to come. However, fears of nuclear proliferation in the Asian giant and the potential weaponizing of the technology might outweigh the country's noble intentions, just as tensions continue to grow with the West. Limitless Clean Energy The promise of clean nuclear energy has enticed humanity for decades. Several countries have attempted to materialize the seemingly impossible concept, but the dream of limitless, pure energy finally appears to be within reach. According to many experts and enthusiasts the world over, such energy can only be achieved by means of nuclear fusion. But unlike nuclear fission, this method doesn't involve the threat of nuclear weapons, as it does not release radioactivity and is therefore harder to weaponize. Likewise, fusion presents fewer risks of accidental explosions and is generally safer than fission, albeit more challenging to capitalize on. Nuclear fusion is a natural process that takes place in the core of the stars, like our own. Like its celestial sisters, the Sun houses millions of physical reactions in which atomic nuclei, like hydrogen, merge to create heavier elements, and in this case, helium. Together with its astounding temperatures, the Sun's colossal mass creates unbearable pressure in its core and produces virtually endless amounts of energy for the innumerable fusion reactions that happen inside. Each individual fusion then unleashes enormous amounts of energy. Needless to say, this method does not require any kind of fossil fuels and doesn't leave any hazardous waste or significant amounts of carbon. Moreover, nuclear fusion poses a significantly lower risk of environmental disasters than its counterpart. Still, the implications of replicating this natural process on Earth carry inherent challenges. For one, to compensate for the colossal mass of our star, and therefore the pressure inside its core, a fusion reactor should reach unimaginable temperatures. Besides, nuclear fusion is not a chain reaction. In contrast, nuclear fission, the process of splitting an atomic nucleus, does trigger a chain reaction that can be controlled. The merging of atomic nuclei requires a constant supply of particles that keep the reaction going as explained by Chari Ranga Chariulu, a nuclear physics expert from the University of Saskatchewan in Canada. Ranga Chariulu is skeptical about nuclear fusion being the answer to the planet's energetic crisis. And he's not wrong, for this type of nuclear reactor usually consumes a lot more energy than it produces. Nonetheless, a country with a severe ecological footprint is resolved to put it to the test, even if there's only the slimmest chance of mastering the process. Indeed, the Asian superpower has already built what is affectionately known as the Artificial Sun. And even though it may not be the solution scientists have been looking for, it might prove an important step in harnessing the power of the stars. China takes the lead. Towards the end of 2020, Chinese authorities announced they had successfully assembled a fusion reactor. Moreover, they were committed to mastering nuclear fusion. The machine, called HL2M Tokamak, was built in Chengdu, the capital of Sichuan in southwest China. Designed to exploit fusion energy, the Tokamak functions like a void chamber, and its layout is in the shape of a toroid or a donut. The uncanny temperatures generated by the artificial sun are fundamental to achieve nuclear fusion. Using a gas such as hydrogen, the material must undergo a heating process of hundreds of millions of degrees. Thereafter, the gas is turned into plasma, which is handled by powerful magnets until the atoms merge and release their desired energy. China's HL2M is among the largest and most advanced machines in the world. According to reports, it can process over twice the amount of plasma than any other in the country. The Chinese National Nuclear Corporation, or CNNC, 
declared that the tokamak is an indispensable platform with which, quote, China can absorb ITER technology. ITER, or the International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor, is a joint project under construction in Marseille, France. The largest nuclear fusion project in the world, it counts with the collaboration of the European Union, the United States, India, Japan, South Korea, Russia, and, yes, China. Goals Eider's purpose is to build a tokamak capable of producing 500 megawatts by 2025. A reactor with such capacity could simultaneously provide enough electricity to about 200,000 homes. The project won't be able to convert the nuclear energy it produces into electricity, but it aspires to be the first fusion experiment to generate more energy than it consumes. Furthermore, HL2M will provide information that will benefit the international community and the other way around. Meanwhile, the scientific community has reached several significant milestones as the knowledge has expanded. In early 2022, the Chinese reactor established a new record, burning at a temperature five times greater than the natural sun and sustaining it for over 17 seconds. The experimental advanced superconducting tokamak reached a temperature of 150 million degrees Fahrenheit. For comparison, the sun's core temperature is barely 27 million degrees. Chief researcher and director of the latest experiment, Xinhua Gongxianzu, expressed, quote, The recent operation provides a solid scientific and experimental foundation for the functioning of a fusion reactor. But in order to produce energy, the tokamak should reach a temperature 10 times that of the sun's core. Although the enterprise has cost the country roughly a thousand million dollars as of 2022, there's still a long way to go outside the labs. Applications China is still optimistic about what the International Atomic Energy Agency describes as one of, quote, the most environmentally friendly energy sources, while implying that it's, quote, an important challenge for future fusion experiments. Still, Ranga Churyulu warned that fusion is not absolutely clean, given that it can produce neutrons that can generate radioactivity. Nevertheless, China, like many other countries, has the clear objective of developing a prototype for 2035 and even entering commercial use by 2050. The United Kingdom is one of them and is planning the construction of a nuclear fusion center as part of its so-called ecological industrial revolution. A conceptual design is to be delivered in 2024 and is expected to provide energy for homes sometime in the 2040s. Despite the noble intentions behind the experiments, many experts wonder about the military applications of such advanced and powerful equipment, as it could be weaponized by introducing other kinds of elements. The Chinese Academy of Sciences in Hefei on Hui claimed to have created a purer version of tungsten, one of the heaviest and hardest natural elements. Notably, this material can be used in nuclear fusion reactors, as well as in kinetic energy weapons. A study partially supported by the fusion reactor program and led by Professor Wu Xiebang of the Institute of Solid State Physics in Hefei claimed to have produced a large piece of pure tungsten. Professor Fang Qianfeng said about the development, quote, the higher the tungsten purity, the lower the risk for fusion energy production. Indeed, this material could aid China in keeping its commitment to cut carbon emissions, but it can also be used in several military applications. In truth, the world's largest tungsten reserves are found within the Asian giant. Further experimentation with tungsten in China could propel massive clean energy efforts. However, it is just as likely that this could cause even more friction with the West, out of fear of nuclear proliferation within the country. Thanks for watching our video. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to give us a like. And for more military and technological advancements, subscribe to Dark Tech and all our other Dark Documentaries channels. Stay tuned.